Okay, let's talk about Conversion API. So what is it and why do you need to implement it on your websites? First, we want to implement the Conversion API because it adds accuracy to the tracking. So with a pixel-based tracking, which is what most of us have on our websites, it relies on making sure that users don't have their ad blockers on. There is a good chance that you won't be able to capture people who land on certain pages on your website just because of the ad blocker. So Facebook is moving away from using the pixel, but they're not really recommending to remove the pixel. Instead, they want advertisers and website owners to have both the pixel and the conversion API providing information to Facebook. So conversion API in a way is basically server-side data. So the data is collected on your website and it sends information to Facebook. I don't know how to make it simpler than that, but the most important thing is Facebook suggests to do this, to implement this on our websites right now, actually yesterday even, and it will lead to more accurate tracking. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't do it. And for certain websites like WordPress, this is super easy to implement. So let's just do it. All right. On Ads Manager, you want to click on this Business Tools icon here and then go to Events Manager. Once you're on Events Manager, choose the pixel that you want to use and then click on Settings. Here, you'll want to scroll all the way down to Conversions API and then click Choose a Partner. And then choose WordPress. Here you want to choose both. Click the advanced matching box and the measure more of your customer's journey by enabling the conversions API. And then create access token. Okay, so you need to copy this code. Just open your notepad, paste it. Then click continue. So you'll need to download the plugin file and then you need to go to Facebook or rather to WordPress. Click on plugins, click add new. There you go. And then click upload plugin. Choose your file. This is the file here, and click install. Okay, while it's obviously installing, don't leave the page. Let it do its thing, and be patient for about a minute or two. Okay, now that it's successfully installed, click activate plugin. All right, so it's activated. You can go back to Facebook. Click continue. You've already done all those steps. Okay, so we're going back to WordPress and look for our pixel. And then settings. Make sure it's the correct pixel ID and that you uh, have checked this and you also want to check this. You need to paste in the token that we copied over earlier. This is the correct token. Click save. Alright, now go back to Facebook. Click continue and verify your pixel is working correctly. That's it. You don't need to do this yet if you don't have to. Just click continue and close. That's pretty much it.